Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your rideshare extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, thank you, thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe, por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so it's election season and the gaslighting campaign has begun. Anything Donald Trump says, they're going to cut it out a little portion of it, and blow it up, all right? The latest is the bloodbath. It's a bloodbath, says Donald Trump. And here comes Nancy Pelosi going on CNN and saying that he's calling violence. He's even predicting a bloodbath. What does that mean? He's going to exact a bloodbath? There's something wrong here. How um, respectful I am of the American people and their goodness. But how much more do they have to see from him to understand that this isn't what our country is about? Praising Hitler, praising the Russians, honestly, I mean, condemning our soldiers for losing or dying in war or being captured mm -hmm. in war. It said, what's wrong with Russia? They defeated yeah. Hitler. What about the millions of Americans who risked or gave their lives? What about him saying that soldiers buried in Europe, he didn't want to visit them because they were losers. Now, any smart American with two points IQ who saw Donald Trump rally, he was talking about China and auto makers. Okay, and here's a clip. And you think you're going to get that? You're going to not hire Americans and you're going to sell the cars to us now? We're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line. And you're not going to be able to sell those guys. If I get elected, now if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. A friend of mine. The media have been using the word bloodbath forever. And thanks to Doug in Exile, they've done a montage. And let's take a listen. Not only is it going to be a bloodbath, but after they leave New Hampshire, it's a bloodbath on her home turf. That's really tough. Trump has left a lot of corpses in his wake. I mean, we yeah. can count the bodies as part of the, quote, MAGA drive to take over Maricopa it's County. And the headline refers to it as an impending bloodbath. Columnist Charles Blow has a new piece for the New York Times entitled A Biden Bloodbath. 2018 midterms, you can bet that they 100 percent are fearing a slaughter. In fact, the word bloodbath yeah. and massacre come up frequently. The Republican party will be destroyed. It's going to be a bloodbath. There's going to be a bloodbath one way or the other. Bloodbath for Bernie Sanders. It's been a bloodbath. They're shaping up to be a bloodbath. Head bloodbath. off a bloodbath in next year's crucial midterm. Off-year elections are often a bloodbath. This week's bloodbath for Democrats, a bloodbath at the ballot box. There could be a Republican bloodbath. They'll talk about a bloodbath. It's a bloodbath. I have to talk about you. And it's going to be a bloodbath all day long. Is in for a bloodbath. It hasn't been a bloodbath on the way down. Donald Trump Bloodbath. Be a bloodbath. It's predicted to be a bloodbath. May not be the bloodbath. It would be a bloodbath. More of a bloodbath. It's going to be a bloodbath in November. Possible Biden bloodbath this November. A bloodbath on Wall Street. This can be a bloodbath in, in Alabama into a bloodbath. Obviously, there was a bloodbath. It was a bloodbath. We're down 800 points. This bloodbath at Department of Homeland Security. And it's a bloodbath today. There was going to be this bloodbath. Election bloodbath. There could be a bloodbath for them. Bloodbath. <laughs> Bloodbath that went through with the attorney general. Bloodbath, 99 days out. The bloodbath is going to look like presided over a bloodbath in the diplomatic corps. Salute, in my opinion, blood, 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 bloodbath. The Democrats are falling into ticket sales, turned into a bloodbath. Bloodbath, bloodbath, blah, 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 blah. They can say it. They've been saying it for years. They've been saying it to describe elections, um, uh, layoffs. They've been using this word forever. 
when Donald Trump says it, oh, he's trying to call violence and, and bloodbath in the streets. He didn't say no such thing. But again, if you're, if you're still watching CNN, MSNBC, you're part of the problem. And if it wasn't for Elon Musk taking over Twitter, there's still been, there's still been having influence over the media. Elon Musk has done a great service by taking over Twitter and exposing the lies. You see, Joe Scarborough, he even came on and tried to use that same line with the bloodbath, and then Elon Musk called him out and says that you are misrepresenting what he said. So Joe Scarborough took the post down. <laughs> and here's another video of how Trump lived in these people's heads. He calls the J6 uh, folks that's going through the justice system, he called them hostages. Let's take a listen. Spirit from the hostages, and that's what they are, is hostages. They've been treated terribly. Uh, that uh, the president or any other leaders would refer to people that are moving through our our uh, justice system uh, as hostages, and uh, it's just... It's just unacceptable. Mike Pence, once again, taking a stand against his former boss. He also refused to endorse Trump for president. <laughs> and you see Joe Scarborough and Mika is losing their minds. I love it. I love it. And actually, they are hostages because, again, nobody carried any weapons nobody had no guns nobody storming there with guns so it was not an insurrection right everybody sees this by now but they still lying they still lying joe scarborough talking about there was cops died there was no cops died in the hands of the j6 protesters one cop did die and his mom and the, the doctors said that he died of a stroke the only person that died was Ashley Babbitt, and that was the hands of the pol Capitol Police. But they keep pushing that lie, talking about they were violent, and cops died. I remember the day after uh, Donald Trump and members of his family uh, getting in trouble for calling uh, these rioters mm -hmm. uh, patriots, and, and they backed off, some of them backed off. Donald Trump now just going straight, weighing straight in, saying that these people were, were patriots and that, you know, others saying that this wasn't a bloodbath. I would just suggest that you talk to the wives, sons and da daughters of those police officers who lost their lives. <laughs> All lies, 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 lies. They've been doing this for years, guys, and we keep falling for it. We're looking at news here and around the world, but Donald Trump again, the Republican front runner, who's basically clinched the nomination. Right. Uh, addressing one of the first things he'll do in office is free the, and I say this in quote, hostages. It's beyond twisted for him to use that word. Not surprised. <laughs> and Donald Trump, he is the master at this. He's getting free publicity. Joe Scarborough and, and Mika was talking about something else. Breaking news, Trump says release the hostages, the J6 hostages. You stop what you're doing and focus all your energy on what Trump said, the words that Trump used, bloodbath, hostages, what else? That's some idiots. I love it. I love it. Now, here's a prediction, and hopefully it doesn't turn true. But if Biden lose, what is the BLM, the Antifa, what are they going to do? Are they going to riot? Are they going to storm the Capitol if uh, Donald Trump wins? Are they going to burn it down like they did the other cities? If that do happen, is Joe Scarborough, The View, MSNBC, are they going to denounce the violence again if the if trump wins and black lives matter antifa and the pink um code pink and all those other leftist group the pro-palestine folks 
if they go to the Capitol and storm the Capitol because Biden lose and burn up the place and kill cops, are they going to use the same fever, the same energy to report what they did to January 6th? Hmm. Anyway, that's my thoughts for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you liberals, get off my lawn.